Hello everyone, this is a um, battle against uh, AG clan. Uh, I play as Prussia. Uh, Huntsman Captain T-Bone plays as Prussia. And we have a random with us whose name is Friend, who also plays as Prussia. Uh, Tom AG plays as GB. Uh, Quidium AG is France in the centre. And Jed, Jedda Zedge. AG plays as GB as well. So my opponent is Tom. Uh, T-Bone's up against Quidium in the centre and the random's up against uh, the other guy at the end. So T-Bone's telling the random to get a move on and get himself up throughout the beginning of this game uh, to try and stop him from getting flanked. So as you can see here, my uh, Tom has uh, three lights and a rifle. I've got a militia with five lights in behind. I've got two foot guard in behind that and six other line. I then have um, five lancers and a dragoon. So basically I'm moving forward, my meat shield's going to go in for melee. As I start shooting. So my lights are better and um, outnumbering him so a light battle should be pretty easy to win. His rifles were shooting me inside, so I repositioned one of my lights on the edge to um, deal with them, and I moved my line up as well to make them move back. So as you can see now the rifles are moving back, which is exactly what I wanted to happen. So now I've routed away one of their lights, and the other light had to run away because the militia were going to go and melee on them. So as now they move back up, I'm getting some free shots at them. This is on the other side, this is the um, uh, the random friend against uh, one of the AG guys. And it's centre T-Bone against Quidium. And myself against Tom here at the end. So now there's some stakes been placed by um, Tom. But as you can see, this light battle now, I've won it already really. Um, so far, I've got so many more men than him, that he doesn't really stand much, much chance in that light battle, so he had to try and get his lines up pretty quick in my opinion, which he doesn't tend to do now. So it's a second light unit routing away. So now he decides to move his lights forward, I move my line up, and I back my lights off to my line, put them in front so if his line do get in shooting range of mine, my line can also shoot. So I put them kind of half and half in between. And I pull back my line on the other flank. Because otherwise they're going to end up getting flanked. So I've, uh, as he's moved his line up on the right, they're now in front of uh, my rest of my other line. So I've had to move them back and form another line again. So my cav's in behind, basically the plan is as soon as he decides to make his full assault forward, which he has to do now because I outrange him, so he's got to bring his entire line forward at some point. So my lights go forward again as he starts running away. And they're getting some good shots off at the moment. His rifles are still shooting in my line, I'm not too fast, they're just musketeers. It don't mean anything at the moment. So now he moves his line back forward, so my line are now going to push right up next to my lights. And now I'm going to send my cab through, which is hopefully going to make him form square, and hopefully I can get rid of this flank pretty quickly. Uh, Tom sends some Dragoon Guards, or is it just normal Dragoons as well? Normal Dragoons in, to try and stop my cab advance. He forms up squares. So my cav don't do any damage, but the idea isn't to try and route them away with the cav charge, it's to route them away after they're in square shooting them up. You get much more accurate shots because you're shooting at one lump. If they're in square. It's a great big block for you to shoot at. So I see them they're in square, so I decide to charge on his cav. As they're lancers, they do some good damage on his cav units. So they go charge on the other units in behind as well. As you can see now, I'm, I'm hugely overpowering him on this flank, shooting him up pretty comfortably. Let's say there's two foot guard units there behind the lights, so the Prussian foot guard's pretty good. And now I'm going to move my lights to my line up, so my line are back in range, as they weren't in range there for a second of the 
rear line which he had. Uh, Tom then charges his cab through. He hits him through the centre, so I form a square. And a square with my other... Uh, so there's four lines now formed a square there. Just to basically give him nowhere to run to. And I charge my other two cav units through. They're not planning to engage his line, his uh, cav, they're planning to engage his line to stop him from shooting me when I'm in a square. So basically he's stopping me from firing and I'm stopping him from firing. So it's going to be very counterproductive for him to hang around here for too much longer. Now Captain T-Bone has sent two units of Lancers with my unit of Lancers which is over there into the line on the right. Which is going to route them away pretty quickly. I killed his general just now. So that will make them route a lot quicker. I'm going to reform my line and try and get some shots off at them. So now his cav's gone. Lines out of square. His cav are all dead now. So lines are going out of square. Lines back in front, back in the position I was before. And here, uh, Quidium has sent four of uh, the French shooter cav. The French shooter cav is really annoying. Uh, they take a long time to route away. Pretty accurate shooting. And they're not too bad at melee either. So they're really annoying units to have floating around. So we've got four of them turned up on this flank now which aren't particularly a problem, they're more of an annoyance than anything because I don't get to flank on Quidium too quickly because he's done this. So now T-Bone's going to charge his cav back through my lines and away. And here as you can see Quidium's charging his two shooter cav units into my lights so I try and run my lights out of the way a little bit slow on it. One of my lights get caught and I form a square with my foot guard on the flank. So here looking from behind, this, this is where he's going. He's trying to get in behind with his uh, shoot cab. He's going for my general, which he does get. So here I'm sending my uh, a couple of musketeer units to flank on Quidium now, because he's got rid of his cab, so I'm not really in too much danger now on, of uh, flanking him. There's nothing there to hold me up. So I'm now going to start a flanking manoeuvre. T-Bone backs off to allow him to come down, which makes my flanking a lot easier. This is the other flank with the um, random and the AG guy. So Quidium's now moved right in, seeing that basically um, Tom's been beaten. Uh, he has to attack now, otherwise he's going to end up getting flanked pretty quickly. So as you can see now, the shooter cab's there. He, he's routed away my general. He hasn't killed him, so my general now as a unit is gone. And the two cav units that were behind are now going to come in and try and go melee. I form a square with my musketeers. And before that, I uh, didn't show it, uh, these two musketeer units uh, did some good damage to a, a guard seaman unit on um, Quidium's flank. They killed about 80 men, I think, off it and took very little losses. So now I'm still moving up. He's only got four units left, I think. So it's not really too much of a problem to kill. In the end, I get bored of the kiting. Obviously, when people are losing, they, they generally do do the fire and run. It's quite acceptable when they're losing to do that. It's not too much of a problem. There's not really too much more they can do. So I'll get bored of it in a minute, and I'll go melee on him. So now I'm going to pull on the flank still. These two must T units are still going to keep moving around. Try and bunch him up for T-bone to shoot. So our random was actually pretty good, he wasn't too bad with a little help from T-Bone. He managed to destroy his opponent, which was good really. Some, most of the time in these situations you get some players that aren't quite as experienced, and especially against clan players they tend to get rolled up pretty quickly. So we were lucky to get a, a decent player. So now here the flank is still going on, Quidium's decided that there's no chance of attacking so he's going to try and retreat and make a def uh, defensive formation. <coughs> so here as you can see now I've got bored and I've gone melee on the lights on the far side with some of my foot guard. My other foot guard are going melee on the rifles in the centre. So that's the foot guard unit going melee on the lights. There's the foot guard unit chasing away the rifles, and now I've got two um, musty units 
going melee on his Connaught Rangers. So these are two must my must two units on the end here, and they're gonna try to move up and deal with these guys. As you can see now, cap charges from behind. Form a square, cap charges ineffective. So now I'm moving up the rest of my army, as you can see. They're coming up behind now. So I'm getting shot up a little bit now. Form a square, as I say, squares make great targets to shoot at. So he's got a guard seaman and a young guard unit there. His guard seaman's got about 44 men left. His young guard unit is intact, I think. So I come out of square, he recharges, I go straight back into square again. And his other cap unit is going melee on my uh, lights. I formed a square next to it so they're not going to last too long. I've also turn my other lights around to shoot at them. So he's running the cap unit away. And they managed somehow to break my square. Not entirely sure how they managed to break it, but they did. They managed to break my square up, and those units ran out away. <coughs> so this battle is pretty much all but over now. It's just basically how long Quidium could hold on for. Uh, all three of us still have um, a nice number of men left. There's a lot of lights left as well. T-Bone's got a full set of lights and um, Friend's got four left, I think. So between the two of them, they heavily outrange them. I've got three left, I think. And uh, I've got four musketeers, I think, and two foot guard left as well. So there's my foot guard unit against that Connaught unit that went into melee with me earlier. So I'm going to move forward. Don't quite go far enough on the first move forward. <laughs> Completely misjudge it for some reason. So here you can see the lights are just basically pounding this French line. And they're going to continue to do that. There's nothing he can do about it. I've got the uh, Quidium's lights on my flank, so I'm going to try and deal with them. Yeah, again, I didn't quite go far enough forward. Uh, Quidium quits now. I think he quits. I'm not sure whether he quits or crashes. I did ask. No one answered. So I'm not sure whether he quit or crashed. But it made no difference now. The battle was all but over. We've got uh, plenty of men left here. So this was a good game, uh, good game T-Bone, good game friend, well played LG, uh, AG. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed the battle and I'd like you all to check out the um, Total War on YouTube uh, group from Steam uh, where lots of uh, commentators and uh, video posters and cinematics and things are being posted on there for everyone to have a look at so if you're interested in them take a look at that group and join the group uh, also check out me and 33rd Foot's group um, 33rd and Rat have a look at that but that was a good game everyone thank you very much for playing so I hope everyone enjoyed the video um, Please uh, rate and comment any comments, uh, good or bad, always welcomed. And uh, thank you very much. Bye-bye.